We are going to show you how an innocent person, maybe someone you love, could be identified as a criminal. You're about to become an eyewitness to a crime along with these students at John Jay College. The man you see walking in is not a student. Can I help you? Watch closely. Hey, hey, that's my purse. Calm down, calm down, calm down. This was just a demonstration. <laughs> The thief is actually an actor. Psychologist Dr. Margaret Covera helped us stage this crime. She shows the class a photo lineup, what police would do after getting a description of a perpetrator. Tell me if you see the person who stole the purse in those pictures. If you do, write the number of the picture down the sheet. Would they choose correctly? Things like hair color or facial hair may change. We'll tell you how the class did in a moment, but first, here are six students we asked about their choices. Just by a show of hands, how many think they definitely picked the right person? Listen to some of their descriptions. Uh, what color was his hair? Blonde. He seemed kind of chubby. He was wearing glasses. Wrong on all counts. Your choice of number six. Yes. I mean, there's no doubt in your mind that that's the guy. To me, that is the man. This is number six, whom Erica and Andrew picked. Others said number one stole the purse, and number two, and number three, and number four. I'm going to introduce you to our suspect. <laughs> His photograph did not appear on the projector. All of you picked the wrong person. <laughs> The students had been so confident in their wrong choices, they said they'd be willing to testify in court if our crime had been real. I feel bad. I would have sent the wrong man to jail. What about the rest of the class? 72 witnesses were asked if they saw the thief in a photo lineup. Only 19% of the students actually made the correct decision that the person wasn't in there. Why did 81% of the students pick innocent men as the thief? Research suggests part of the problem is the way most police conduct photo and live lineups. You've seen it portrayed on TV and in the movies. A witness views a suspect and so-called fillers simultaneously. That process of comparing the different lineup members to each other results in a witness who picks the person who most looks like the perpetrator. Which is exactly what our eyewitnesses did. I saw that number three was the closest. The other guys didn't come close to the man I saw. That is a big problem if the suspect is not the criminal, even though police may think he is. And in that situation, if the witness is in there picking the person who most looks like the perpetrator, they will invariably get somebody who is not the perpetrator. And you have no doubt that every single day in this city, something like that happens? No doubt. No doubt.